Welcome to this fun introduction to Crucio. I'm Michael Reef, and this is my wife, Jane Marie, from the Church of St. Patrick's in Invergrove Heights, Minnesota. We are the current lay directors for Twin Cities Curcio, which spans the Archdiocese of St. Paul in Minneapolis, touching the lives of over 6,000 members for over 50 years. Our own Curcio experience began in 2010, when our friends invited us to attend a weekend encounter where we would learn more about ourselves, our relationship with Jesus, and meet others who are committed to share the love of God with each other. Curcio is a wonderful worldwide charism of the Catholic Church, a Holy Spirit-led movement of people who share faith and love of God with each other. God in Christ loves us. Please listen to the stories of several of our friends who are part of Curcio. Well, it's great to be with you. Uh, Father James Peterson, pastor of Immaculate Conception Church in Columbia Heights. Sometimes we talk about the charism or the gift uh, of the Holy Spirit, which is present within Curcio. So it's a lay ecclesial movement, which originally began in Spain, and now it's spread to just about every country throughout the world. Uh, it's been very positively viewed by St. John Paul II, now Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, and our current Holy Father, Pope Francis. They've all spoken very positively of Curcio as a movement guided by the Holy Spirit as a means to come into contact with God and to grow in friendship with Jesus and his church. And so there's a very strong community of folks who are involved within their parishes, whose lives are transformed and renewed uh, by the gift of God and power of his Holy Spirit, uh, really through just small group gatherings, as well as an intentionality of focusing on what are kind of the, the pillars or the, the threefold nature of piety, study, and action. So really putting together the prayer, intellectual, and the active dimensions of our faith life. We were wanting to get involved with uh, the parish. So we we're, you know, attending mass and, and uh, we were feeling a little, you know, oh, we don't know anybody, but uh, Holy Name, you know, they really invited us in and then Jim, said, hey, you know, I'm, a, I'm part of Corsillo. It was our first time coming to Holy Name. We were deciding whether we wanted to go to coffee and donuts afterwards. And so we decided to go in. And the, the minute we walk in, Jim beelines to say, are you, are you new to the parish? Yeah. And uh, from that on, we hit it off. We became very good friends. And um, shortly after us meeting, the, uh, Jim and Laura invited, sponsored us to come to Corsillo. And it's Mary Kay. And um... The reason why I chose Curcio uh, is I was in a place in my life where the road just took a sharp curve and I was just searching for something. And my parish was sharing uh, some inspiring stories and how they felt so much closer after they made a weekend. Well, that was certainly a seed that was planted, but for me, of course, there was those excuses like, um, oh, it's just for couples. Or how am I going to fit this in? But you know, as I pondered and prayed, that I was going to. One of the things that I was missing was a sense of community. And so when Jenny and I met and we started going to church, I mentioned it to her. She had her experience, long-term experience with Garcia. And she thought, well, that would be a good solution for me. So I, I knew a Christiest fellow, um, and I asked him if he would be willing to meet with Larry. And so they got together for coffee a few times, and Larry decided to make his, his first Curcio, and that was like 2017. But there was always um, something I, missing in my spiritual life. Sure, I did all the church things, but I never really took anything out of the church and had anything outside those doors. Well, I'm at Risen Savior Church in Burnsville, and I see this group of people repeatedly every Sunday who always got together after Mass, and they always socialized for a while, and then they talked about going out to breakfast. And I looked at them and said, I want what they want. <laughs> and so I went and introduced myself to one of the gentlemen in the group whose name was Gene. And Jean said, have you ever heard of Curcio? And of course I didn't. And one thing led to another. 
Jean told me about the Curcio movement and sure thing, a couple of weeks later, I signed up for a Curcio weekend. For both of us, I think it was really um, life-changing really. I mean, it was a, a perfect time in our lives that we were invited to go. We were newlyweds and we were looking to meet new people that were close in their, that were interested in growing their faith like we were we were just entering a new chapter in our lives living the retreat really helped remind me of how our church started the church started it in community and it it really uh, that was a big highlight for me going forward was just remembering how important community is it for anybody at any stage and any kind of personality whatever background you have it's going to impact your life well the weekend um was another stepping stone i say into healing which allowed me to move on to hearing what Christ had for me. You know, we're all wounded and we tend to put a bandaid over it and then we try burying it and then we say, oh, life's good and just kind of move on. Well, when we do that, we end up not listening to Christ. And um, the weekend helped me shift that thinking and just to really feel God's love. Curcio had really grown me into um, dealing with small faith communities in any parish that I was in. And, um, and then uh, we met, uh, Larry and I, uh, we both uh, were, was 20 years since our first marriage. Um, and uh, our conversations uh, from the very start uh, were around spirituality and scripture. When I went through my, my weekend, um, I had no idea what to expect of the, <laughs> of the process. Well, I was very, very, very surprised, but it was also very, very pleasant. It's been um, really a wonderful uh, experience in our marriage. I think it's uh, provided for us a community um, that, uh, has helped us continue to kind of develop a, a way of, of being in our uh, our grace life, actually, you know, uh, as a couple. And um, our weekly gatherings with our uh, fourth day groups have been sustaining. The impact on me, um, the Curcio cur impact on me, has really been the um, the in, the growth of the spirituality within a very very loving and caring community. When I experienced my Curcio weekend, it was an eye opener. It was absolutely amazing. I learned so much of what I thought I knew all about the Catholic Church, and yet I was I learned how to develop a personal relationship of my own with Jesus Christ. One of the great things about Curcio is that it's not just a one weekend, one and done affair. It's actually an ongoing, continuing process. And we call this in Curcio the aftercare. So it's not just go to one weekend and forget it. Again, I meet with regularly with a group, a small group of men, plus a large group. Plus we have events throughout the year where we have an even more people. So I can kind of say that through Curcio, I have met hundreds and hundreds of people throughout the Twin Cities who have all been through Crucio through the same weekend retreat that we've all been on. And it's amazing to be able to share stories and not be embarrassed to talk about my faith with this large group of people. When someone comes to me and asks me about Crucio and how do they, how can they get information or an introduction to it, my suggestion always is to, to try to attend a group meeting. So if you can get a sense from, from the members um, that they're, they're loving, they're caring, and they're asking you or they, they're welcoming you into the community, uh, if you can get that sense before you go through the process, I think you'll be better. I would definitely recommend one for anyone at any stage in their life to, to join um, 
a weekend. It was really life changing, in my opinion, for us. Yeah, yeah I, I felt like uh, being part of the Corsio, we um, immediately had like all these friends because yeah. it's kind of uh, an intense three days. Yes. And you're spending it with those individuals the whole time. And, mm -hmm. and there's a huge Corsillo community. Yeah, you know, once, you, once you go on Corsillo, so many other beautiful things happen afterwards. So I've been asked to ask the question, would I recommend someone to go on a Corsillo weekend? You bet I would. Are you kidding me? I can tell you that I never look back. Curcio has been just an amazing part of my spiritual life. Uh, I've met so many good friends. I've had so many great things about it, uh, Curcio, that it was a decision I am so glad I made. I definitely would recommend a Curcio weekend. Uh, it'll be one of the best decisions you ever make in your life. Well, I just have to say, I'm encouraging you to ponder with Christ, see what God's got in store for you, and then come on the journey with us and let's get closer to Christ. I'm so looking forward to seeing you. There's so much more that could be said about Curcio, but for me, it's really been a way of life and a really enriching way to grow, again, in my friendship with Jesus, fellow Curcistas, and those around. So thank you very much. God bless you in your journey of faith. To learn more about Curcio, please check out our website at wwwtc curcioorg that's www.tc-curcillo.org. Day Caloris!